and welcome to Jacqueline's Gem Storytime. My name is Amy and today we're going to be reading Giraffe's Card Dance. Let's get started. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. His knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees but when he tried to run around him buckle at the knees. Now every year in Africa they held the jungle dance where every single animal turned up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Poor Gerald. The waltz hog started the waltz and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lion started to tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did the cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboos teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely and he walked towards the floor. But when the lions saw him coming, they all began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animal started to laugh. <laughs> Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and all alone. Then he found a clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, <coughs> coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up a violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hoofs began to shuffle, making circles on the ground. His neck gently swayed and his tail switched round and round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite in trance. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he's raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when you find the music we love. What a beautiful story. I really enjoyed that and I hope you did too. Thank you for joining us at Jacqueline's Gem Storytime.